Welcome back to Therapy Thursday. Two of our favorite core endurance exercises that we give essentially to every low back patient period and pretty much anyone in the population it would be good for are the plank and the side plank. The issue is they get boring. They get boring real quick and people stop doing them because of that. Too often people come in and say, you know, I've just been holding my plank longer and longer and longer and that's great, but just like any other exercise, it's going to have a peak in terms of your improvement. So we're gonna teach you two quick ways or little tricks that we use to get more out of both types of planks. They're gonna be around two different variables. The first one is counter force. So what I mean by that is creating an alternate type of force while you're in the plank position. Easy way to explain it. Front plank, we're gonna to try to tighten the anterior wall by pulling our elbows and our toes together. Don't think about anything else, it's a simple hint. Get down in your plank position as you're watching me now. And then from here, just try to tighten by pulling your toes to your knees and hold. You'll find that you get a much stronger contraction through the front part. For the side plank, you can do the same thing by forcing your top hip down. It will force the downside section of your obliques to work much harder. So again, if I'm in my side plank position, I'm gonna put my top hand on my hip and push down aggressively and you'll notice that you get a much stronger contraction on the downside. So that's our first hint. The second hint has to do with your number of sets and repetitions. So just like any other exercise, you can do the plank with repetitions. After a certain period of time holding the front plank where your entire core works like a symphony, the onus is taken off the small muscles that help provide endurance to the larger global muscles, which is fine, however, to make your plank a bit tougher, try holding for sets of just 10 seconds at a time. So typically what we prescribe to people are a series of 10 seconds up in the plank and then two seconds back down. Try to get through 10 repetitions of that. You'll notice that that's a sum total of only 100 seconds worth of contraction, but you'll find that much tougher than trying to hold for 100 seconds continuous with no breaks. It's counterintuitive, but if you don't believe me, give it a try. So that's two quick ways to make your planks much tougher and get more out of it. We'll see you next week on Therapy Thursday. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to catch up on all of our videos as they come out.